Hey there friends. Well tonight it's about 9 o'clock and I find myself in a Walmart parking lot about 15 to 20 minutes north of the, the U.S.-Mexican border. Now if you look inside of my living space here you'll notice that my sleeping bag and pillow are not there. And that's because I've decided to go ahead and move everything up front for tonight. And I'm gonna keep that door shut because I'm trying to control the AC in there. Nothing's running now, but I kick it on about every, you know, five minutes while I'm awake. And, and we'll see how long I can go while I'm sleeping. But um, yeah, the, the low for tonight is about 90 degrees. So it's gonna be a hot one. There's an excessive heat warning. And so I'm gonna sleep in the front tonight. I've just finished uh, brushing my teeth, as you can see. But um, I'll uh, just bring you guys along to, to, to see how this goes and see if the heat is going to play a factor. I'm sure the AC will hold me over, but um, it should be a, a good, comfortable night. All right, friends. Well, uh, this is pretty much what I got going on. Basically just going to blast the AC for a little bit. And uh, like I said before, probably running for five minutes and then... I'm just gonna sleep and we'll see how long I can go until I wake up from uh, being a little toasty. I, I honestly don't know how well this front cab area is at retaining um, its, its temperature. So tonight's gonna be a good test to find that out. But uh, as you can see, I just have my mat, brought my sleeping bag up for some extra padding and to make sure I don't uh, have any you know, any parts of the seat belt jamming into my back. Got my pillow here, and we're looking like we have a nice night of sleep ahead of us. I've been pretty tired recently, so I'm looking forward to this, uh, this cold night of sleep in this extreme heat. And by the way, I just entered New Mexico, not New Mexico, I just entered Arizona, my uh, 46th state. So I'm four away from uh, going to all 50 in 2020. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep and uh, perhaps I'll check in throughout the night or who knows, maybe I'll, I'll sleep pretty well through the entire night. Good night. Well, it's about two and a half hours after I uh, started sleeping. And uh, I've decided to kick on the AC, as you can maybe hear. We'll let that run for a little bit and uh, we'll be good to go until it gets hot again. And here we are again. It's now about five hours since I began sleeping and I've just woken up for my second time. AC's pumping and we'll continue sleeping. The sun has come up here in Arizona <laughs> and uh, I had a great night of sleep. As you saw, I probably woke up maybe three, three or four times to uh, turn the car on, get the AC flowing a little bit, but it really wasn't too bad. And uh, I honestly can't imagine how last night would have been sleeping in the back. I mean, the, the low, of last night was 90 degrees there was an excessive heat warning and uh i think staying staying up here in the cow was necessary i still have a little sleep left in me so what i've gone ahead and done is i've just moved the car into the shadow of this tree here behind me you can see it back there and uh so as the sun is starting to rise it was heating up my cab area or at least the sun was shining into the cab area so to prevent this area from heating up i've just moved into the shade and hopefully that will give me at least another hour and a half of sleep before it gets too hot to bear all right friends well about an hour has gone by and uh, it started to get very, very hot in here. I just um, tried to open the door to get some airflow, but it's pretty hot outside, so that's not gonna cut it. 
And at this point, it's light enough outside. I think it's just time to wake up. So the day's gonna get started, but um, I hope that gave you guys uh, an idea of what it's like to sleep in super hot conditions. You know, even when I have access to the front of my cab here and I have access to the air conditioning, you know, when the uh, when the temperature inside gets pretty hot, it just it becomes very uh, very uncomfortable. You know, there were times last night where I was sweating pretty bad, and uh, that definitely encouraged me to get the AC going as fast as possible. But uh, you know, you do what you got to do. You got to make sacrifices, uh, comfort sacrifices to to travel, at least you know the way I'm traveling. But um. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you guys have if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And uh thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.